uh, immigration is like in, like moving on from a relationship. So it's like that you have to leave everything that you have very close and emotional relationship with for many years and you just need to leave everything with just like one baggage or sorry one luggage and just leave that country so yes i mean let me start with you what is the first thing that comes to mind when i say persian immigrants and relationships confusion limbo how many can i have <laughs> let's start with confusion <laughs> yeah um, I think we touched on that when we talked. Uh, I do think that there is an identity confusion for us immigrants. And um, I don't think it's only for us immigrants. I think it's uh, for Iranians inside Iran too, because we've been a traditional society and we are a traditional society on the verge of becoming modern. And we're somewhere in the middle. But for us immigrants, there's another layer to it, uh, living in the West and everything that's uh, challenging our beliefs values our existence uh, living in the West so it's really more complicated so I think it's a limbo situation I don't think it's a bad thing necessarily but it's worth looking into we are not that aware of the complications of it that we are not traditional we are not modern we're in between we are not Eastern we are not Western we're in between so establishing that and making it known to ourselves mm -hmm. and communicating it is going to be very complicated especially because we need to look at it like uh, on a spectrum so i might be a little bit more traditional in some area but a little bit more modern in some other area mm -hmm. or western or eastern in all different departments so it's a very complicated concept so, so you said at one point it's not necessarily a bad thing how is confusion around how we navigate relationships not a bad thing I think it's a natural journey because um, when traditional societies uh, are going to change and it's inevitable, change is inevitable in history, but uh, it's a journey we have to go through. So it's progressive. So in that sense, it's not a bad thing. We don't mm. want to get stuck. We don't want to get fixated in how we used to be 50 years ago, 100 years mm. ago. So. Uh, of its own, it's a good thing, you know, it's a um, progression, but the thing is that uh, it's difficult to find our own place. And now in diaspora, we're talking about two individuals who are not so familiar with their being, with their identity, and they meet. Mm. And this complication, the dance between the two creates such a complicated dynamic that can be very confusing. So off the top of your head, give an example of the, that confusion that comes in that delta between being Eastern and Western traditional and, and modern in a relationship. What do you mean? I, I mean, give me an example. Example, what, like yeah. in whatever area? In, in, a, in a relationship, gender how roles. does that play out? Gender yeah. roles, okay. I, that's number one for sure. Who pays for what? You know, finances mm. is huge. You see couples, they've been married for 10 years. Mm. They do not talk about money. Money is a steal. Because we don't talk about that in the old country. Exactly. But we need to talk about it in the right. new country. Uh -huh. And men are supposed to be the provider. They're mm -hmm. supposed to be the breadwinners. But the society does not work that way. But as you said, there are expectations mm -hmm. that men should pay for everything. Or this is the responsibility. And men who don't, they're either the losers or they're not good enough. They're not qualified enough as a husband, partner, or whatever. Mm. Gender roles, I think, you know, that's the most dominant uh, complication we have to deal with and we're not dealing with. Let me try, Netta, I'll bring you in with the same sure. question, although now you've had a couple of minutes to think about this word association. <laughs> what comes to mind for you when I say Persian immigrants and relationships? Uh, so, yeah, Persian immigrants and relationship. You know what? Um, immigration is like moving on um, I got that, this concept from um, the artist that I don't remember but I really like this uh, immigration is like, in, like moving on from a relationship so it's like that you have to leave everything that you have very close and emotional relationship with for many years and you just need to leave everything with just like one baggage or sorry one luggage and just leave that country can you just take everything with you? Of course not. Mm. You can. If you want to take everything, probably you have to stay in that place, which is going to be your comfort zone, right? 
and you never can move and go forward and just be curious what is happening on the other side of this world mm. but you can be selective you can just choose the things that you really need to, or you think that okay these things maybe is going to help me when i leave this country and what are those things they could be like materials but they could be memories they could be learning opportunities they could they could be a lot of things they mm -hmm. could be relationships you can take a lot of things and then go to the new environment mm -hmm. in the new environment of course as uh, yasamin said it's confusion